Hey guys, today we are going to do things a little bit differently. So first up, I just want to say I apologize, but I am having major issues with my laptop and it has to do with the editing. So when I record a video, but I go to upload it, I don't know if it's my Filmora or what, but the audio isn't matching what the video is. <laughs> so I look like a dubbed Chinese video and it's just, it, it's terrible. But for some reason, I'm able to do audio by itself. So if this works, I can update you guys this way but enough talking about that so I wanted to let you guys know what's been going on with me and I'm gonna just talk about that so my grandmother has been under the care of hospice and I think it was sometime last year my dad um, moved out and he moved in with my grandmother um, she had been asking him for a while to move in with her she didn't want to be by herself and it was getting to the point where she was unable to care for herself so he decided to move in with her um, it's he's a hard person to live with I do admit that um, and it, she's very very stubborn herself um, she was falling over you know, bruising herself, um, getting gashes on her head, um, things of that nature, and so it, she needed care. Um, so when he moved in, he had a hospice come in um, when he took her to a doctor's appointment and the doctor said that her breathing was to the point where he didn't think that she was going to make it to January. And I think this was around November, either October or November of last year that he told me this. So all this time, we've pretty much been preparing, you know, or trying to get prepared, you know, for the fact that my grandmother probably won't last, you know, very much longer. And so it's been kind of hard that way. Um, I have an aunt who has not been talking to my grandmother, though, for the past three to five years. And she actually lives, like, down the street from her. Um, in between this time, we have not as really associated with her. There really hasn't been any like bad blood between me and my aunt or anything like that. It's just that she was like fighting with my grandma. They had issues. It's gone on for years. They talk sometimes and then they wouldn't and then she would disown her. And so she pretty much just stopped talking to her. And I, I think it has been like three to five years. Um, there was an incident that happened where a cousin of mine made like a smart ass remark on Facebook and it kind of snowballed into something else and it just to me it's someone told a family member that didn't live near us you know to basically to the extent that there was something going on over at my grandmother's and they were concerned and that my aunt needed to go over there whatever that was supposed to mean so the next thing we know my aunt is showing up and you know after all this time just kind of coming in and putting her two cents in and it just I don't know kind of seemed like taking over it, it was just kind of weird I don't believe she was coming out of the goodness of her heart and it just rubbed me the wrong way um, I kind of felt like um, my dad was kind of thrown under the bus and that people were led to believe that there is something going on which there wasn't and Part of the reason why my cousin was upset was because my grandmother was under the impression that she was going to be put into a resting home, like, or a hospice home, and that we were just going to leave her there, and that was not the case. My dad had put her in there for five days so that he could get in place a hospital bed and to also clean up the cat um, urine smell and fur and just crap that they had you know sprayed over the years and just that kind of stuff and that was the only way to kind of do it because anytime he would clean or try to do anything she would freak out you know you're touching my stuff you're you know you're trying to take over it was like a constant battle so that's why she was put in there for five days on a trial she was taken back out she was in the thought process of thinking that we weren't going to take her out, or my dad wasn't. So was telling other people this, but then a cousin of mine, who also feeds into this negativity kind of bullshit, or at least that's what I feel, kind of like let her run with that idea and kind of fed into it. Um, I don't know for sure 
if anything was said to another to other family members but that was what it sounded like to me um i kind of think my grandma though did at some point talk to my aunt on her own but we were told that other family members were mentioning that my aunt should take keep an eye on my grandma or go check on her that was the impression that i was given or maybe the assumption anyways moving forward my grandmother I don't even know how long it's been, a few weeks now, maybe a month, um, shortly after this incident, moved out and moved in with my aunt. It, it was kind of a shock and upset me because my dad said he came home and he works the night shift, like this, like the um, swing shift. So he came home probably like a little after 10 at nighttime and he went to go to my grandmother's room to see if she needed anything to eat or anything. And she was not there, her stuff was gone. My aunt had come in and moved her without telling him, which I think is kind of shady as fuck, but they didn't say anything to him. They just kind of uprooted and left. So since then, it has just been, I don't know, like kind of surreal, um, just a lot of anger and emotions. It's something I've had, to, I've had a hard time dealing with because I, I know part of it, my grandma chose to go over there. She chose to have this person come back into her life, regardless of how it, you know, came about or who said she said, or, you know, how things get blown out of proportion and, you know, everyone's reality and their side of the story is what they feel it is. But there's always, you know, another side. For me, I just feel it's just not in my grandmother's best interest. Um, I don't really know what is in her best interest anymore though, it, it's hard. On Sunday though, there was a thing for my grandmother that my aunt threw and we did go to and it was um, like a, her last, you know, just like a get together for people to see her and kind of like her last hurrah is how my dad kind of put it. It's just been an emotional time and you put all of us together and the ones that we aren't talking to are in one corner and the ones that are talking are in another and it was it's been a lot and i have just kind of i think just been trying to deal with those feelings um i have family in san diego on my mom's side that i do not associate with anymore um I don't really go into great detail as to why, but there was an incident that happened and basically they decided to not believe what happened and turn their backs on us. So that's why I do not associate with them and I'm kind of just feeling like when my grandmother passes that I will be cutting ties with some of the people on this side of the family and I'm I guess kind of just preparing myself for that. Done trying to put up with stuff because it's family and using that excuse because it's family because real family I think should not try to belittle you put you down and keep you there and just not bring out the good in anybody and that's kind of what I feel like <laughs> is happening on this side and it's happened on my other side and that's why I refuse to put up with it so that's just pretty much in a nutshell what has been going on I'm grateful that I got to spend the time with it, that I did with my grandma on Sunday um, I'm grateful that I got to see the cousins that I did but it's also been sad at the same time to see that after all these years and even though we're getting older that there's still so much <laughs> that people can't get past and just still so much that they would rather hurt each other than try to come together at a time like this. Thanks for listening and hopefully I can figure out how to get this fixed and get up and running again. But until next time, I will see, maybe, <laughs> or talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.
So hopefully that didn't bore you too much. <laughs> hopefully that didn't confuse you too much. But yeah, that's pretty much just been my world lately. But thanks for listening. Um, but thanks for listening. And hopefully I can figure out how to get this fixed and get up and running again. But until next time, I will see, maybe, <laughs> or talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.